Hey everyone, Haunted Trees here, and today we're going to take a walk around my property and take a look at some plants, wild or not. Here's some edible leeks right here. Let's see what we can find, eh? And what we found here is a herb robber plant or a wild geranium. And um, this plant, as you can see here, has those tiny, tiny hairs on the stem right there. And the leaves are all very extremely lobed, as you can see. And actually, when this plant is broken apart, it does have an odor, which many people call it stink bob weed. And the flower of this, um, come like springtime, it will be a five-petaled um, white or purple flower, I mean pink. And the roots are extremely easy to dig up. And it's just a neat little plant. Herb Robert, wild geranium. Okay, what we found here today actually is a creeping buttercup. This is the first one I've ever seen in my lifetime. Um, it's in the buttercup family. It has five, usually five flowers like the buttercup does, and it has a compound leaf that is white spots on it, if you can see that up close. It's poisonous as to the regular buttercup is, and how it actually spreads its seeds though is if it gets on hay, it travels with hay, it loses its poison, and it spreads its seed that way. So, the creeping buttercup. And what we found here is ground ivy. And ground ivy actually, when it is mature, has a purple um, little flower. And it is a vine. But it's a low growing vine. And actually, um, it came over from Europe as the Europeans would use it constantly for. It actually, it's very high in vitamin C, so they use it in all sorts of teas. They use it to cure um, colds and bronchitis because it actually used to be called a lung plant. And um, this plant is edible right now. It's used in all kinds of salads. And um, the only thing really wrong about this is it's toxic to cattle and horses. So you really kind of got to be careful because um, more studies have to be going in the ground ivy. It's a real neat plant. And as you can see, it goes everywhere. It's actually... Um, pretty invasive and it actually kills a lot of natural wildflowers. That's ground ivy. This is the white campion flower. It flowers from late autumn into, well from late spring into late autumn. And it's dioecious, which means it needs a male and female plant. Um, some African tribes, when it flowers on the full moon, used to make it into a tea, into some rituals so that they could experience dreams. And it likes to grow in a moist fields in eastern parts of the world. It likes a moist, damp setting with rich nutrient and alkaline-based soil. Um, it's also known as the flower of the dead in parts of England, or the grave flower. And what we found here is purple dead nettle. And unlike all the other nettles, um, the dead nettle is like its name, dead. So if you touch it, it won't, you know, cause all the rashes and skin irritations the other ones do. And purple dead nettle is often confused for um, purple henbit, which I myself really don't know which what it is. But um, I know the difference is... Um, the leaves where the flowering is on henbent won't have stems, and the ones on purple um, dead nettle will, and these ones look like they will, the little tiny ones. And does have those little hooded flowers. And um, it is mint-like because it does have that very square stem and those opposite leaves. And purple um, dead nettle um, comes out mild winters because it is December 18th and early spring. It's um, one of the first things that bees collect for pollen. It's pretty important to build their nests. And um, medicinally, um, early days, they use it to actually treat allergies. Teas and everything for allergies and colds and runny noses. And this plant 
later on in the year um, the tops will have a purplish reddish tinge and if they don't then you know it's henbit and that's the purple dead nettle and I forgot to mention almost seamlessly growing with dead nettle every time is chickweed and chickweed um actually you can eat it and everything right now I'm pretty sure it's very high in vitamin C and um, it's got the little um, white fiber stems It's in the same family as goosegrass and it's just an always a little it's like a cooling herb drink it in teas to calm you down and such it's just always right underneath usually the dead nettle and some chickweed